deep seek, cyber forum takedowns, and a new Apple attack. I'm Ali Diamond, and this is ThreatWire. New and trending AI model DeepSeek has been under attack since its launch in late January. For those unfamiliar, DeepSeek is a subsidiary of a Chinese-based hedge fund company that is creating AI models and chat experiences that are allegedly more efficient than other existing models like OpenAI's O1. According to cybersecurity firm Xlabs, the DeepSeek product has been experiencing DDoS attempts since as early as January 3, 2025. Over the last week of January, the attacks surged to 100 times their normal load, causing the DeepSeek product to put limitations on the ability for new users to register for the product. Beyond the DDoS attacks, there was also a database exposure discovery. Via rudimentary enumeration techniques, the team at Wiz was able to discover exposed ports and subdomains of DeepSeek. One of these endpoints was to a ClickHouse managed database that did not require any authentication to access. By leveraging ClickHouse's HTTP interface, we accessed the slash play path, which allowed direct execution of arbitrary SQL queries via the browser. Running a simple show tables query returned a full list of accessible datasets. One of the tables accessible through this endpoint was a log table that contained over 1 million log entries, including prompts by arbitrary users to the DeepSeek model. The WIS team didn't explore much further into the available data after this discovery, but they allude to the idea that passwords and other critical files were not a far reach away. This exposure was reported and quickly fixed by the DeepSeek team. An operation involving international law enforcement resulted in the takedown of five popular cybercrime forums. The seizure occurred between January 28th and January 30th, and also led to the arrest of two persons, seven property searches, and over 300,000 euros of cryptocurrency seized. The domains, cracked.io, nold.io, mycelix.io, selix.io, and starkrdp.io were seized, and visiting these domains now show a graphic with the following text. This website, as well as the information on the customers and victims of the website, has been seized by international law enforcement partners through Action By, and the relevant graphics for various Interpol groups. Official Europol statement divulges that between Cracked and Null alone, the two platforms had a son of more than 10 million users. According to reporting, a moderator for the Cracked domain published in a Telegram channel that they were, quote, still waiting for the official court documentation from the data center and the domain host. Two new side channel attacks have been uncovered by researchers targeting Apple Silicon chips. The attacks, named, and I'm not kidding, slap and flop, alleged to be able to leak sensitive information from web browsers. SLAP stands for Data Speculation Attack via Load Address Prediction on Apple Silicon, and FLOP stands for Breaking the Apple M3 CPU via False Load Output Predictions. SLAP forces the Load Address Predictor to predict the wrong address, which can be used to retrieve sensitive data. FLOP exploits the load value predictor via malformed data to read memory contents in unregulated locations. For full transparency, these attacks are a bit above my understanding of computer functionality. So I decided to run the research papers through ChatGPT and ask it for a one paragraph summary of how each attack works. According to ChatGPT, here's how SLAP works. The SLAP speculative load address prediction attack exploits a newly discovered load address predictor, LAP, in Apple CPUs, specifically in M2, A15, and newer models. The lab speculatively predicts memory load addresses based on past execution patterns, which can lead to unauthorized memory access. The attack allows an adversary to manipulate speculative execution to retrieve sensitive data, such as cross-site browser content, without being architecturally viable. 
SLAP is demonstrated as an end-to-end -end attack against Apple's Safari browser, where an attacker's webpage can extract confidential information, including email content from Gmail, purchase history from Amazon, and browsing activity from Reddit by leveraging LIP-induced speculative execution and micro-architectural side channels. And then I asked for the same prompt about the flop attack. The flop attack exploits Apple's load value predictor, LVP, a CPU optimization present in Apple M3, M4, and A17 Pro chips that predicts memory load values to reduce execution delays caused by read after write RAW dependencies. The attack demonstrates that while the LVP cannot predict full 64 bit values, such as pointers, it can mispredict smaller values leading to security vulnerabilities. By carefully training the LVP, an attacker can cause the CPU to misinterpret stale values during speculative execution, leading to type confusion attacks in Safari and hijacked control flow in Chrome. These vulnerabilities enable out-of-bound memory reads and unauthorized access to sensitive data, such as browser history emails and payment details. The researchers behind these findings reported them to Apple. However, Apple has decided that these attacks were not immediate threats. Thank you so much for watching ThreatWire for the week of February 3rd, 2025. If you want to support this ad-free show, please head over to patreon.com slash ThreatWire. If you want to find me online, you can find me everywhere at Ending with Allie. And as per usual, good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.